You thrown her here with uh, one of the best freshmen in the state of California, and what a special debut it was for Isla Terrell uh, from Monrovia, 1846-4. Uh, she wins, uh, not a frost soft debut, ladies and gentlemen, a varsity debut uh, here at the 45th Asics Clovis Invitational. Isla, you haven't stopped smiling since you crossed the finish line. You were smiling even before you crossed the finish line. Uh, before we talk uh, just about how special and how meaningful this is for you, for the Monrovia program, for your uh, for your family. How much do you feel like you learned today that's hopefully gonna, you know, play favor and, you know, give, uh, give you, you know, even more understanding yeah. that, Lord willing, you're back here on November 30th for the state final? Yeah, now I know how the course is like and what to expect, and I can always plan uh, for next time. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun race. Hopefully, if I can come back, it'll be great. How would you kind of summarize just, you know the, the the blessings but also like the enjoyment that you've had through August and September and then uh, and then obviously in, in, including today like it, you know if, if, if somebody asked you Isla you know you, you, give, give me a brief recap or give me give me a summary of the first half of, of your freshman year like uh, like what what stands out to you oh yeah um, it's been pretty good so far I came I came back from an injury actually so it's I had to adapt a little bit but I've been doing pretty good my second uh, official race of the season so far and it's going really good I love practicing with my team and everything and it's really fun for, uh, for the longest time you know especially uh, in your league all the discussion has only been about La Cunata or South Pasadena yeah. or San Marino or whatever like how special is it and how proud are you like just not just you, but I see so many amazing women over there, like wearing the Monrovia kit, right? Like, I mean, you, you are doing something, and th this group is doing something so incredible by, like, you know, like bringing it back, you know, uh, where everybody needs to not only recognize but but respect this group. Like, how much does that yeah. mean to you and your team? It, it means a lot. Like, we we're really happy. We're starting to, you know, get out there a little more, and people are starting to kind of know where we are, and we're catching up a bit and it's it's going really good and I'm really happy about it most definitely like you said obviously it had to be patient you know a, yeah. sl a slower progression yeah coming back from the injury obviously this is you know a real strength course you know I always yeah. say it separates you know uh, the women you know for, uh, you know from uh, from the girls obviously you race this like a woman today yeah. you know even though uh, you know regardless of you being uh, being a freshman uh, just to be able to be challenged like this on a strength course and knowing obviously that you're gonna have to be on Mount Sac yeah. you know uh, I hope three times you yeah. know uh, go, uh, going forward uh, if that's the invitational and in section prelims and section finals but for sure section prelims and section finals how do you feel like you know where your fitness is at right now stood up you know to this course and especially killer hill in the second mile yeah um i felt pretty good the killer hill i've been doing lots of training for uh for these hills we would do tons of uh hill repeats and so I, i'm really prepared for these hills and once you get up there you push strong it, it goes it goes really well especially on that downhill right after you take advantage of that and it gives you a boost for the next one most definitely Last thing, I love the fact that you had to handle, you know, the, the majority of the race and especially the second half of the race after that hill, yeah. largely on your own, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, you can't, you know, re you know, reach into a, you know, a jar or a bag and handpick your opponents, right? But yeah. what you can always do is be the best version of Isla Terrell. How proud were you of just the way that you kind of just, you know, ran your race uh, and whether anybody was around or not? Like, you just continued to push yourself and be the best version of yourself. Yeah, I felt really good. Even if there's no one up there, I try to push hard and know that if I don't push now, I might regret it later on. And if I keep pushing, I know well, it'll soon be over and I'll feel really great about it. Awesome. Are you, uh, are you in the group uh, excited about the, uh, the opportunities to race at Mount Sac? Oh, I'm really excited, yeah. Very cool. Well, again, uh, if you don't know Isla Terrell, you need to know Isla Terrell, one of the best freshmen, not just in the southern section, uh, but in the entire state of California. She reminded us of that today. Only two races into her career, uh, but we hope she's back here on November 30th uh, with a lot of great competition uh, leading up to it uh, for what we can say is her state debut after an absolutely brilliant effort in her Clovis Invitational debut. Isla, stay healthy, and best luck to you and the team. Thank you so much.